Hey, what's going on guys? So welcome to my review of Suicide Squad. I'll also be putting up a spoiler full review sometime uh, later this week or at the latest by Monday. But anyways, uh, so right off the bat, this movie has some of the most creative intros that I've ever seen. Not just in the movie, but in the marketing especially. You know, it was so creative. I love every type of poster, every promotional artwork I've seen, and every character bio art that's been all over social media and just in uh, certain cities so it's just the marketing for this movie was absolutely great that really helped building up the hype for the movie in my opinion apart from that this movie is definitely a huge step up from Batman v Superman in terms of organization especially there, there was a lot riding on this movie especially in terms of the organization especially for the theatrical version of the movie because if you guys know a lot of movies nowadays they don't play the entire movie in the theaters you know they cut out certain bits and pieces of the movie that they thought weren't as important or had to be removed due to uh, getting as many shows as possible out that day so that was organization was one thing that was really stressing about when I was watching this but once you start watching it you become more relieved like I did in terms of organization you know it's it's organized very well and a lot better than Batman v Superman next were the characters the movie shows how all the criminals got caught you know it shows how in certain scenes Batman catches some of these villains and it shows you like how pretty mu pretty much what they're trying to explain is that all these characters that you see in uh, in Bell Rev Batman put most of them there or if not all of them so I thought that was really cool to see speaking of Batman there is another Justice Leaguer in the movie I won't say who but he, he's not in the movie for very long only about a minute or two but it's absolutely amazing he just looks like a total badass and I, I think that's just a really good way to build up the hype for the Justice League movie we also get a good glimpse of each character's background slash origin story more for some over others at certain times but the movie really makes you feel for all the characters in reasons where after you see their origin story you start respecting and actually caring for these characters you actually care what happens to them in the movie the movie for the most part focuses more on the more popular characters in the movie you know such as Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Rick Flag, and if you want to include Joker as well even though he's not a Suicide Squad member the other characters are focused on but not as much as those big three regardless they still have their best moments you know they still have some funny dialogue and still have some really badass moments in the action sequences as for the big three Margaret Robbie was absolutely amazing as Harley Quinn. She totally kills it, and I can't wait to see more of her in the future films. I'm not just talking about Harley Quinn's character uh, when it comes to Margaret Robbie. I'm talking about her psychiatrist Harley Quinzel character as well. You know, there's a certain scene with Joker where you you see how Joker has kind of changed her mindset and how she she's willing to do anything for Joker and. I thought that scene was really great. You know, some people might find it kind of iffy because it pushes the boundaries a little bit with certain things. But for me, I think that was a really good scene to add. And it really, you see more of the human side of Harley Quinn uh, before she became Harley Quinn. And you know, the Joker and Harley Quinn have this great chemistry in the movie as well. Next is Deadshot. Will Smith is such a great casting choice for Deadshot. You know, he's he totally kills it as Deadshot. And... There's certain scenes in his backstory which really make you care for the character. You really care, you know, what happens to him during the course of the movie and what happen what could happen to him after the events that take place after the movie. So that that's what really made you respect and care for that character as well. You know, um, there's there's certain scenes, there's certain dialogue that Will Will Smith says where you when he says it you realize, you know, that that's a Will Smith thing. That's a, only Will Smith would say that. That proves that Will Smith was a great casting choice for Deadshot. As for the Joker, Jared Leto absolutely kills it as Joker. You know, he brings this fresh new perspective to the Joker character along with a new perspective to the word crazy or psychotic. And because of that, I won't compare Jared Leto's Joker to Heath Ledger's Joker. No, I think uh, they're equally good in their own separate ways on two completely different levels. Two completely balanced levels. You can look at it any way you want, but from my perspective, I think that Jared Leto and Heath Ledger are on the are both equally good in their own separate ways. The only gripe that I had with the Joker was that we didn't get enough of him in the movie. 
Granted, this is a Suicide Squad movie, and they wanted to focus more on those characters, but after you see Jared Leto's performance from, from the very first scene, you just want to keep seeing more of that. And we, we, we didn't get as much as we wanted to see. There, I think there were some rumors going around saying that the theatrical version cut out certain scenes which were actually Jared Leto's which were actually some of more Jared Leto scenes so that's kind of disappointing I think they could have they could have kept that in there because movie well I think about two hours so I think they could have pushed the movie a little bit farther because this movie's gonna kill it in box office you know so even if they didn't get even if they were like a couple hundred shows short I think the movie would still be good if they included those Jared Leto scenes but regardless, you know, the scenes that we did have him in, he absolutely killed it as Joker, and I can't wait to see more of that. Apart from all this goodness, you know, there were some small pacing problems in the movie, and some of the characters uh, didn't get enough screen time or enough dialogue, as much as I wanted them to. And so, uh, some characters didn't even get a backstory, you know, they kind of just touched up on it with dialogue a little bit here and there, but I would have loved to see some characters get a proper backstory told to us. In the end guys, Suicide Squad is a great movie and a huge step up from Batman v Superman. And overall, I give Suicide Squad a 8.7 out of 10. That's all I've got for you guys, just my overall spoiler free review of Suicide Squad. If you enjoyed the video, then smack that like button, as always appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. See you guys next time.